When you think of tax time, does it make you feel worried and stressed? Or is it something that you look forward to because you often expect to get a tax refund? Hello, I'm Chelsea Wanake, and on today's UW Mindful Money Moments, we're going to be talking about wise ways to use a tax refund. Now, not everyone gets a tax refund and understood that tax time means different things depending on your situation. It can also be influenced by things like being able eligible for the earned income tax credit or the homestead credit. So thinking about your options at tax time definitely makes sense this time of year. And if you expect that you might be getting a refund, think about your priorities and what's most important to you so that when that money comes back, you're able to use it for what's most important to you. A tax refund occurs when you've been paying in your income taxes throughout the year, and it's found that when you file your taxes, you actually paid in more than what you owe. So at that time, the money is refunded to you and it's yours again to do with whatever you wish. <clears throat> if you're interested in seeing what you qualify for, you can go ahead and take a look at irs.gov, um, or we also have an extension site, which I will share here shortly. Um, and that actually spells out some of the different um, earned income tax credit and other tax credits that are available to low and moderate income families. And it also talks about, um, in the sidebar here, places you can find assistance to um, file your tax return, like VITA sites and other community services uh, that might be helpful for you to take a look at for the 2020 tax year. If you have normally gotten a tax refund in previous years, uh, maybe think about, about how much that in, uh, refund was. And if not much has changed in your income or family size, you could expect that it will probably uh, be pretty similar again this year. If you've gotten a refund in the past, you can think about what have you done with that money? Um, you know, did you need to spend it? Were you able to save some? Um, try to remember how that went in the past and how you felt about it. Um, you can think about then what would you do differently this year? Um, if there were some things that worked well for you, feel free to repeat them. If there were some things that you don't feel great about, um, maybe spending some time thinking about your priorities can help you um, be more intentional about what to do with those funds this year. You could write down you know, four to five things that you might wanna spend or use your tax refund for, um, and try to be specific, giving each one a dollar amount or a percentage of your tax refund that could go toward that. And that can be considered your tax refund plan. Um, doesn't have to be real detailed, but it helps set you on the course for using um, that tax refund in the way that's most beneficial to you. Once you've done that, um, you could maybe think about some other things that maybe you haven't done before. And if you're not sure about a wise way to use your tax refund, we can talk about um, some different options that other people have done that seem to be beneficial to them. Um, often when we think about an influx of cash, like the tax refund is, you could think about whether you might want to save, spend, or invest that money, um, or maybe a combination of two or all three of those things. In the past few years, the IRS has allowed us to split a tax refund between multiple different accounts to have it deposited back into. So that means, for example, you could put part of it into a checking account and part of it into a savings account. And that could really help be more intentional about what you're doing with those funds because it's already split up uh, when it gets deposited. But even if you don't choose to split your tax refund that way, um, once the money comes back to you, if you've got your plan, then you can kind of allocate it based on that. So thinking about that save, spend, or invest, I've got a, a little visual here to show um, and just to think about that. <clears throat> so if you're thinking about spending, um, all are part of your tax refund. One of the wise ways or something that you could spend on would be catching up on old bills. So if you have some things that you know are past due, um, going ahead and using this money to catch up on those things can help prevent late fees as well as preventing those things from going to say a judgment or a collection, which would hurt your credit report. So spending on that would make sense. Let's see if I can. If you're thinking that maybe some of it you could save, um, think about an emergency fund. The goal is to have six to 12 months of living expenses set aside in an emergency fund, and that would allow you to be um, secure in case there was something that would happen as an unexpected event in the coming year. 
If you don't have an emergency fund yet, you know, you could try to set that up. Or if you have one, plan to contribute some of your money um, that you get in your tax refund as a savings to that. And when we think about investing, it's similar to savings, but it's usually longer term. So thinking about a retirement account, like if there's anything that's a matched account through your employer, you wanna make sure you put funds into that to take advantage of your full match. Um, or you could think about creating a personal retirement account like an IRA or a Roth IRA, which you can contribute up to $6,000 to in a year. Now, of course, those aren't the only things to save, spend, or invest on. And a couple other wise ways to think of using our tax returns, we've just brainstormed here as well. You know, additional things that you could spend on, if you want to spend some money on maintenance, or if you want something that's going to bring you joy for the longer term, you know, think about an experience like a vacation, you know, rather just extra stuff. Savings, um, you might think about also a down payment for something that you're going to need in the future, whether that's a house or a car. Um, setting aside some of that savings when you have this refund come in um, can really help jumpstart you towards that next goal. And then investing, um, another type of investment that you might make would be in education, whether that's for your children, for their future, or post-secondary education. Um, or thinking about for yourself if there's some courses or um, some study that you can do that would help advance your career or invest in yourself for whatever you're going to be doing as a next step. Well, we hope that some of these tools uh, might be helpful to you as you think about using your tax refund. And we hope to catch you next time for the next episode of Mindful Money Moments.